the home of Russia's Black Sea Fleet, Sevastopol shipyard on the Crimean Peninsula on fire. A barrage of Ukrainian missiles and unmanned speedboats were part of an attack on Russia's naval centerpiece in the war. Russia says two ships undergoing repairs were damaged, Ukraine says it damaged a submarine and destroyed a large landing craft. Just days earlier in a daylight operation, Ukrainian special forces took control of the Boyka Towers, the offshore drilling platforms Russia seized after annexing Crimea in 2014, used since to control the Black Sea. At the opening of naval exercises with NATO countries earlier this week, Ukraine said Russian tactics pose a security threat to wider maritime traffic. There is a big problem in the Black Sea because of the high concentration of Russian mines. They wash up on Ukrainian, Romanian and partners' shores, including Turkey. It's difficult to predict how the mines will behave. Russia is constantly mining the Black Sea. Where the counteroffensive may look slow on land, Ukraine will no doubt consider recent naval successes as a way of curtailing what has so far been Russia's stranglehold on the Black Sea. Sevastopol port is crucial for Russia to transport fuel, ammunition, and personnel. While the Black Sea remains contested, Russia may struggle to replenish major losses. And these latest attacks could embolden Ukraine's effort to regain control of its southern waters. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera, Kyiv. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.